You were looking into the bucket of a disgruntled turtle. <laughs> That's okay, laughter is okay in the, in the background. Um, this girl here is about 10 years old. Her growth is a little bit on the small side, but she has been kept in captivity for a while, so the size of her tanks have, uh, have limited exactly what her size would be. The good news is these guys have taken actually pretty good care of her. Um, her uh, edges are not too flipped up on the side. There's no sign of metabolic bone disease. What I do want you to notice is right there on that left side, if you get a really, really close look, and it's hard to do from this camera at this point in time, you can actually see where uh, the wear marks are on the upside edges or on the raised area. So it turns out that in this girl's tank, she actually has, uh, when she goes to sleep at night, she wedges herself inside of a rock. Mom and Dad thought she had a fungal infection, and I've been communicating with these guys via the internet for, I think, three weeks now, if not longer. Okay. <laughs> So they finally decided to bring a turtle in. This is a wild caught turtle, okay? Um, so uh, there would be no reason that we could not set this one free. Uh, the wildlife specialists want to make sure that it's been checked by a doctor and there's no strange problems with it. The fishermen out there want to make sure that it's not so habituated that it comes to people for food. Um, but in the bottom line, if you put them in a big enough place with enough food source, they probably wouldn't be begging. Um, so anyway, seeing as how this one is wild caught, I'm not really seeing a big reason why we can't set it free, but that's not official. I never said that on tape. <laughs> anyway, um, these area, this area is going to heal up fine. Uh, Mom and Dad are going to keep this turtle for a little bit longer. We're going to actually treat that with some antibacterials, and they're going to rearrange the tank in a way that we probably would have this more on the other side for a few. Yeah, I think we can do that. I thought you could. Um, so we'll have to change that habit that's actually causing this to happen. Anyway, I'm going to pick this turtle up and we're going to get some better pictures. All right, here's our girl. I'm basing the girlhood on the uh, lack of brightness on the side of the head, a little red spot there. The fact that the nails at about 10 years old for a male should be a lot longer for a, a male in sexual maturity. Uh, also, the tail is not that impressive as far as guys go, so we'll just leave that alone. Um, I was trying to make her natural pictures, natural um, coloration at the bottom here actually make some sense, but I couldn't do it. I was, had a snake in here a while back whose name was actually spelled down on the side of it, so uh, oh, wow. I, was, I was thinking maybe to find something cool there, but anyway, look at those markings, see if you can figure out what that means. <laughs> It may be some other other language. Hey, you never know. It may say turtle in Chinese. I don't know. No, cl no clue. Um, <laughs> anyway, she's actually been a very nice turtle. Her eyes are clear. Her nose is clear. No bubbles or problems. Um, no sign of uh, actual skin disease or anything. So I think we should probably uh, just fix that one spot on her shell and then discuss those other options, those ones that I can't talk about. All right, there's that.